So I've shown you how we multiply with fractions. Um, so make sure you've seen the previous video and you have noticed that it's actually easier than adding and subtracting fractions. Eh? But make sure you understand what you are supposed to do. Five over six times three over four. Yeah, I simply, or yeah, I multiply the numerators with each other and I multiply the denominators with each other. So I do not have to manipulate anything. So I really like multiplying fractions because five times three is 15 and six times four is 24. Now, and because I like it so much, I know I have to take extra care of my work because do not get overexcited. I still have to simplify my final answer. Remember that, taking out the common factor, because although this one is odd and that number is even, yeah, so the numerator and the denominator, they do not share the factor two, they do share the factor three, because 15 divided by three is five, and 24 divided by three is eight. So five over eight is your final answer, yeah? So don't get overexcited when you're multiplying fractions. Still make sure that you, that you simplify your final answer, yeah? All right, three over eight times two. Now I have, uh, I rather always write that whole number as a fraction, yeah, because I know I'm multiplying numerators and denominators with each other. I have three over eight, and I have another three over eight at times two. So how many eights do I have? Three times two is six, and eight times one is eight. Yeah, six eights. Eh? I have three eights, another three eights uh, times two, so I have six eights. And also at that point they're both even, eh? so a factor two anyway. Three over four, and that is it. Three over four it cannot be further simplified. It really is its simplest form. Three over four, okay? I have one more example video for you involving multiplying fractions, and then we move on to division. See you there.